All right. Let me uh, do some adjustment here. Maybe stand it up just a little more. It's kind of weird to do this. All right. This is in response to that about the timing. And I was telling you to put it at 40 per minute. And what you do is you pick up your guitar. I'm at work, so I don't have my guitar. But you pick up your guitar and you pluck the string once for every click. One. One. I have this set at 40 beats per minute because I'm lame. Some people could do it at 120. Some people can do it at 60. Don't try it if you're new at this. You just, you'll fall flat by the time you get to your threes. It'll fall right on your face if you've never done this. So here we go. One. One. One, 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 one. It's no big deal. Anybody can do one. And you'll know that if you're doing it right because it'll almost cancel up. You won't even be able to hear the click. But here's the next one. Now you do, do two beats per click, evenly spaced. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. No big deal. Two is pretty easy. This is where most guitar players fall flat on their face. They're not drummers. They've never had band class. They don't know anything about timing. It's the three and beyond. Fours are kind of easy. It's the odd numbers that really kick your ass. So here we go. We're going to do three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, it has to, your three has to end and your one has to hit on the next click. It has to be evenly spaced. You can't go one, two, three, rest. One, two, three, rest. That's a four count. A lot of people try that crap and it just doesn't work. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's kind of got a waltz feel to it. That's why waltz are three, four times. Okay, four. Now four is pretty easy. It's just double two. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two. You'll have to excuse me. I'm at work and I can't hear the metronome. It's on my iPhone while I'm recording with my iPhone, so I'm double duty in here. Okay, fives are where it gets real hinky. If you can do three, you're not going to be able to do five if you've never done this exercise. I Guarantee you won't be able to do it. You know, it'll take you a, a few minutes to get at it, and you won't be able to jump into it just comfortably. Um, so here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Sixes are pretty easy. It's just a double three. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Sevens get creepy. Eights are pretty easy. It's just a double four. I suggest you don't count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, one, two, three to get your sixes and your eights. It's, you're cheating yourself that way. Don't do it. What I suggest that you do is... What I suggest you do is count them as sixes. And now sev is funny because seven is a double syllable word. Don't count it seven because it'll screw your count up. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 A great example of that is uh, Pink Floyd's Money. That's a good one to count to seven to. It'll give you an idea. But never say seven. Just say sev. Just one syllable and start back on your one after that. You have to fall on it. Nines are going to kick your ass, and if you can get to 11s, and this is the first time you've ever done it, you're a genius, and you might just want to start playing drums. I, I just I don't even know what to say to that. So uh, that's the best I can give you right now at work. I will actually make a real video of this when I, when I, uh, I have the next two days off. I'll try to get you a real one, bro.